Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. Today we're going to be continuing our adventure in the Jota region. Last time we made it here into New Bark Town again after we received the Pokedex from Professor Oak. We received a um mysterious egg from um I forgot his name, um what's his name? Mr. Pokemon and we gave that egg to Professor Elm. And now we're going to be ready to move on to the next town. But before we do that, let's uh let's actually go into Elm's lab and heal our Pokemon up because I feel like uh, we should uh, heal up our Pokemon. Yes, that seems like a good idea. And no, sorry, didn't mean to click that. And we're actually going to be heading out now. And this time we'll be heading onto. Uh, last time we made it to, I believe, oh, what's this? Looks like Lyra and her Meryl. There you are. Dopey, you can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. Follow me. Oh, well, I guess so now we'll be able to, uh, start adding some Pokemon to our team. And now she's gonna show us her jumping in the grass. Oh, too fat. Uh, obviously, we didn't even see what you were doing. Okay, now we'll be able to see what Lyra really was doing. So it seems she ran into a level 2 Rattata. But I doubt she's going to be catching that. Let's see how she does. So first, you need to weaken your Pokemon using a move. This is a uh, trainer 101. And, uh, guys, a uh, bit of a channel, um, update, I guess you could say. Um, I am going to be posting tomorrow a, uh, uh, Let's Play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland video. But, uh, today you're going to see, um, this Pokemon Sizzler video. And, uh, tell me if you, uh, like the new layout. I did put a little bit of time and effort into making that. It might not be the best layout, but I feel like it's a pretty good layout and it matches kind of the scheme of the game. But look at that, Lyra caught a level 2 route, so good for her. And, um, other than that, I am trying to, uh, make better thumbnails for my videos. I don't know if you think the thumbnails are good, but I try to put a lot of effort. And I have to, like, kind of make sure, like, the number one, the number two, that they're in the same spot. Last time they weren't, I had to, like, redo the thumbnails. You know, I'm gonna try to put maybe a couple pictures just to, like, attract a better audience, uh, to the people that are gonna be watching my videos. Because if they see a bad thumbnail, they're probably not gonna watch it. And I want to try to get more viewers here. But I think, I think Lyra just, uh, gave us some Pokeballs. Let's check. Alright, she gave us five Pokeballs. Uh, I have a pretty good idea of what my team is going to be. So uh, I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to try to make our way. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, Hoot Hoot, the eternal rival. Yeah, I'm not really going to be in the mood for doing that. Um, I'm still debating whether I want to actually, like... Uh, try to complete the whole Pokedex thing because um, it, it is kind of difficult and if I would just go about like trying to catch a lot of the wild Pokemon but that that wouldn't make for uh, two good videos so what I think I'll do is I think off screen when I'm training I'll uh, probably do that and start catching some wild Pokemon to add into the Pokedex. Because I know that in certain points of the game, and when you need to catch certain legendary Pokemon, uh, you're going to have to need a certain am amount of Pokemon caught in the Pokedex. And I don't want to have to go back um, and start catching Pokemon like that. So, I feel like it's better to just do it fresh out when you're here. Well, we made it back to Cherry Grove City, and first things first, we're going to actually stock up on Pokeballs. Because uh, you never know, you might need more when you're trying to catch Pokemon. I remember when I was playing Pokemon Fire Red, uh, I was doing a Nuzlocke on my other channel, and you could only catch one uh, wild Pokemon, and I only had one Pokeball, and I ran into a Nidoran, and I didn't catch it on the first try, and I lost that Nidoran forever. So we're going to just make sure we have 10. 10 should be enough. Um, 
we don't have enough money. Uh, that's a little bit embarrassing. But uh, I don't think we really need anything else. I think last time we kind of stocked up on items and such. So let's actually make our way out here where we're going to be battling some trainers. So uh, there's a little bit more wild grass. I think we should be able to get through it. And I jinxed myself because we ran into another wild Pokemon and it's another Hoot Hoot level 3. And I'm going to try to avoid uh, wild Pokemon from now on just because uh, it's actually going to be trainers. The only reason I did a couple of wild Pokemon battles in the uh, beginning Dang it, I thought there was a Pokeball over there. I forgot I already had it. The only reason I did wild Pokemon battles in the beginning is so I can get um, an edge over my rival. Because my rival is going to have the uh, stronger type uh, advantage against me. So I just wanted to make sure that I had that. But anyway, since he does have a... Um, my rival, since he does have a uh, water type, we are going to need to have a grass type or an electric type. And I, and I have a good electric type in mind. I forget if he's a trainer. Alright. we. T I feel like we talked to this guy on the last episode too, by accident. Yeah, we shouldn't be talking to him so much. Let's get this Apricorn. I forgot the Apricorns. Uh, they regrow a lot. So it's a good thing that we're getting this right here. We're getting a lot of Apricorns. I don't want to miss out on any... Like, uh, last time. I keep bringing up last time. I need to stop mentioning it. But well, let's continue out here. These should be trainers. That's right. Now we can, uh, not this one. He's not a trainer. That guy's a trainer. So we're going to be battling him. I think he has about a level 5 Rattata. Not too sure, but let's see. Let's see what Pokemon this guy has. It's a good thing I didn't go the other way because I think it might have been a double battle if I had two Pokemon. And he says we look weak. That's kind of rude. You don't know what you got yourself into, man. You're battling Dopey over here. You know, Dopey's been through Kanto. Dopey's been through all the regions. Your level 4 Rattata isn't much. We're gonna play around with him a little. We're gonna taunt him. We're gonna use Smoke Screen just to kinda lower his accuracy. I like using the other moves. And he hit anyways. Wow. I didn't expect it to do 4 uh, HP of damage, but this time, yep, there we go. Now he's gonna start to miss. Um, let's, uh, I think we might be able to take him out. And another tackle, that's 17, wow. Um, not really sure why that one did less damage than the last time, but, I don't know. I kind of pay attention to the little details of everything, but Typho is level 8 now, that's a good thing. And play defeated youngster Joey. Oh, I'm out of Pokemon that can fight. We get 64 of winning, and we send some to mom. There we go. And he's probably just going to register us. He's probably one of the most people that calls me. That's going to call us. Because um, when I was playing this as a kid, I specifically remember uh, Joey calling us a lot. Like I said, I do have a lot of details about this game. But next trainer, here we go. This should be Todd. I'm pretty sure this guy's name is Todd. I'm going to... If his name is not Todd, I'm quitting the Let's Play. Uh... Uh, uh, that wasn't me. That was my little brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smooth, smooth, dopey, smooth. I, I'm never gonna quit this let's play. I love Pokemon So Silver. It is one of my absolute favorite Pokemon games, just because of the fact that you can travel to two regions and you get to fight 16 gym leaders. And I know that you fight a lot of gym leaders in uh, like Volt White 2 and those kind of games. But it's not the same. I love the first two regions. It brings back so many memories. And I really just love like the music in this game, the scenery. You know, it's not too much 3D, it's not too much graphic, it's just right. This is this is just a game that, you know, hit me in the heart. It's uh it's, it's always gonna be there. It's just like it's part of me. You know, it's just one of those games that you have a kind of strong attachment to. Kind of like the Dragon Ball Z games when I was a kid. I love playing Dragon Ball Z games on my uh, PlayStation 2 and my PlayStation 1. I love having those games. I love playing it. I had so much fun when I was doing that. Me and my brother, we would just stay up late at night doing that. We do kind of the same thing now with when we're playing uh, Naruto Ninja Storm Revolution or when we're playing, um, you know, maybe Halo or Call of Duty or Fallout. You know, just those kind of things, playing some cool games. You know, I just like, me and my brother, we have a lot of fun together. 
And that's why I always like try to uh, respect my siblings, even though they um, sometimes don't give me. I don't think she's a trainer. She's probably just gonna say something. All right. See, my memory served me right. And I think that guy up there might be Todd, because I'm pretty sure Todd was a bug catcher. But I think that might be from Fire Red, since I uh, recently uh, was doing Nuzlocke before on Fire Red before I um on my other channel before I started this Fire Red and Leaf Green. Anyways. This guy's name is probably Todd. Let's see. Let's see what his name is. Instead of Bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Of course, man. I'm way better than Bug Pokemon. But let's just... Bug Catcher Dawn. I, I swear, I remember the name Bug Catcher Todd or Youngster Todd from somewhere. When we run into a Youngster Todd, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna be like, I knew it. I knew there was like a Youngster Todd. And we're kind of getting low on HP. I'm not going to let my uh, Typho faint. Don't hit a crit. Alright, only two damage. If a crit would have been like maybe. It actually would have knocked me out if it was a critical hit. But we're going to get plus one. Plus two actually. So really we didn't take any damage. And we grew a level. That's a good thing. He's going to send out another Caterpie. Okay, this is getting a little bit repetitive. But it doesn't matter. Let's take out this Caterpie. I'm not too worried about it. You know, keep throwing out your Pokemon. I'll wipe them out. Typho, why haven't you learned any fire moves? I think at level 10 he learns Ember. Just basing this off other Pokemon. I know that Chikorita and Squirtle, Charmander, Venusaur, they all learn their grass, water, and fire type moves at level 10. Pretty sure it's the same with all starters, so I'm just gonna maybe grind it out later. Do a little bit of wild Pokemon training. But I'm pretty sure we're going to have a little more trainers. And that's lag. Wow, where did that lag come from? You know, the whole reason that I stopped doing Pokemon Coliseum was because of lag. And if this starts to lag, I'm going to be really mad. Because I don't want to stop doing this. I already put so much time into making the layout and everything for this game. You know, sometimes lag is, is really bad. I don't like it. Anyway, before we uh, proceed into wild grass we might not be able to escape let's actually use a potion we have 11 that's a good idea wow 19 points just enough just enough that potion was just enough all right let's uh continue and another wild pokemon wow and there's another hoot hoot i feel like if i just catch it we're not gonna have any problems with it you know why not We'll throw one Pokeball. If it doesn't catch, we're running. Alright? So let's cross our fingers and let's see what happens. Wow. That Hoot Hoot is a real... A real pain. Not gonna say anything bad. But he's a real pain and we wasted a Pokeball, so now we're running. Kinda hate Hoot Hoot now. Noctowl's a good Pokemon. Good Pokemon to use. Um... Dark Cave. I know that there are Zubat in there, so I'm still debating. Oh, we got another potion, so I guess it kind of evens out now. There are Zubat in that cave, and I, uh, I don't, I wonder, could we use Zubat for our team? Because it's a poison and a flying, and if I do get enough friendship with it, we will have ourselves a Crobat. And I know there is an item in this cave anyways, so let's continue, and dang, that lag, though. Alright, Geodude. Geodude is going to be super effective against us since we're on fire. We're just going to run from him, but it's always good to get him in the Pokedex. Now we've seen him. Now he's in the Poke... Another wild Pokemon battle. Wow. It's not that laggy. It's just like this teeniest bit of lag. I'm going to try to clean up my computer after this episode. Maybe that might help it. I'm going to try not to like erase any files because I have uh, most of my uh, recordings here just like I usually try to uh, record ahead of time so like after this I might do another recording if I have time just because like uh, there's some just rarely moments that I actually have time to myself to just uh, do some recordings by myself and wow I really need a repel I'm starting to think there aren't any Zubat in here either I am starting to think that there are no Zubat because I'm not going to catch that uh, Geodude. Where's that Pokeball? Wow. All that for a potion. 
Actually, it was all for a Zubat. Let's see if we run into a Zubat on the way out. We'll do one more. We need to see if we run into a Zubat. Why don't I have my guidebook out with me? I, When I got this as a kid, my brother, he got me a guidebook for Soul Silver and Hard Gold. Because, like, I didn't know anything, and I just went around collecting every single item. I caught every single Pokemon of every single route. I just, like, filled up. This game's one of the only games that I filled up my Pokedex for. You know, me and him, we traded. He had Platinum. I had Soul Silver. You know, I got Dialga, Garatina. I got all those Pokemon in this uh, game. And I collected everything. But we got a Black Abricorn, or BLK, which must stand for bulkiness. Uh, no racism intended but seriously um, black people are really bulky in my school there are just some really my friend Jaden in my class he is the best basketball player he's the strongest kid in the school yeah, he is something else man I could never be like him but I do do some sit-ups every now and then every morning I do um, 40 sit-ups 20 push-ups same thing every night just try to stay in shape I don't want to get fat over the summer not like I'm a fat kid anyway I'm a little skinny I'm not gonna reveal my face or anything or how I look maybe when we hit I don't know maybe when we hit a decent amount of subscribers I'm not asking for a million or a hundred or a thousand a decent amount of subscribers once we hit that then maybe I'll do um reveal I don't think any people are gonna be wanting me to reveal anyways cuz that's kinda weird the saying it's weird to reveal yourself to people in general you know you don't want people all over knowing what you look like see you on the street hey that's that youtuber yeah he's a nerd he plays Pokemon no I don't want people doing that and not saying only nerds play Pokemon I'm saying Pokemon's a cool game but back to the topic I don't want to reveal myself and I don't think people uh, would want to see me I'm not that good looking or anything I don't want I don't think people would want to see me but if a decent amount of people and I have a decent amount of subscribers do ask for it uh, because you guys support me something like that then yeah I will do it if I do get to that limit on my channel but as for now we have a very small amount of subscribers but at least I am appealing to an audience and I am entertaining some people and for those who are playing along in this game um, you know it's helping them you know they can see the Pokemon and the trainers and the battles but I already know like I probably know everything about this game I know like everything that's gonna happen so I can anticipate and kinda train my Pokemon up a little bit high just to uh, kind of get them strong you know and I will be doing some uh, off-screen training too maybe at the end of this episode if my uh, Cyndaquil is in level 20 then I'm gonna grind it out to level 20 I want my Cyndaquil to be a uh, pretty high there we go level 10 he learned ember that's gonna help us uh, taking on these bug Pokemon but where are we going uh, you're awesome I like you uh, we kind of find the berries, so you share some. Could you get my phone number? No, sorry, bro. Oh, well, don't be shy if you want to get my number. Yeah, I really don't want his number. I'm sorry, I think you're supposed to click yes. I did when I was a kid, but he's just going to keep calling me during my recordings when I'm trying to do Pokemon battles, leveling up my uh, Typho or Cyndaquil. So, you know... I'm just gonna click no. It's not like I'm gonna be doing anything with uh, apricorns or berries, anyways. Maybe just use them every once in a while when I'm out of paralyzed heals. But dang, these hoot hoots are hoot hoot, com apostrophe s are really annoying. This is, you know, this is really getting annoying. I don't even know how long the recording is, but I think this is the last trainer. You found oh, oh Faulkner. Uh, I I swear, if this goes into a forest, I'm gonna be so pissed off. No, Lyra, I don't want to battle. I don't want to battle. I don't want to battle. Um, is it the versing rec versus recorder? Which, uh, if you don't want to read all this, it just lets you record battles. There you go. Nothing too big. No, you don't have to say "Let's go" in front of us. Just like text matter or something. Just like get out of there. There we are, Violet City. 
first things first, let's get into the Pokemon Center. I don't think we take too much damage, but it's better than anything. Let's rest our Pokemon up. Good job. And uh, I wanted to talk about another topic, Pokemon Showdown. Boy, I didn't even know what it was. I just used to watch people. I was like, what is that? Pokemon Showdown is amazing. I love it. If you guys want to uh, battle against me in Pokemon Showdown, please do. Uh, I don't use legendaries. You can use whatever you want. I'll probably just whoop you, but anyways, <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, I, I actually love it. I think I'm pretty good at it. I only lost once to a guy with all legendaries, and it wasn't that bad. So Pokemon School, Earl, Earl will show you all. And we can't go in the gym yet, and that is because we need to go into this tower over here. But uh, we will be doing that on the next episode. And you know, maybe if I have enough time today, I'll actually uh, upload two episodes of uh, Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. But uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Uh, next time, we will be going into the uh, Bell Sprout Tower, and even we might battle uh the gym leader Faulkner. so i'll see you guys next time and like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content uh peace everybody